بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear student is here to welcome in a new lesson of our Islamic studies. We will start as usual by remember Allah, Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wala ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Wala hawla wala quwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي This week we will learn about a new surah of the Holy Quran and this surah Anybody can read the name of this surah or can read this surah by Arabic? Yeah, this surah called Surat An Nasr. And do you know what does it mean, An Nasr, in Arabic? It is Arabic word, but means in English. The victory. Can anyone write this word and nas by Arabic? And which victory? And the reason that this surah revealed in it. Follow our lesson. You will know about more about this surah. And the story about why Allah revealed this surah. This is starter activity. Look to this picture and try to answer this question. Read by yourself and answer. You have uh, two minutes to think. Now, the first question When do Muslims perform tawaf around the Kaaba? Do you know when? Yeah. When we go to the Mecca to do Hajj, this Tawaf is one of the rituals of Hajj, one of Hajj actions. Do you know? I, I have here an, a challenge question. Do you know the other rituals, the other actions of Hajj? The second question, to whom should the Muslim say these prayers or this dua? Yeah, to Allah, glory be to Him. We should ask and make dua to Allah's only. The third question, when does a Muslim thank his Lord? Actually, you should thank Allah without reason, without time, anywhere, any time. Because Allah bestowed upon us more blessings. So we should ask Allah, we should thank Allah anywhere, anytime. But do you know exactly which times we should thank Allah? Yeah, when we got a prize, when we get a prize, or when we have a high position in our life, or when we achieve, Allah help us to achieve our goals. I should thank Allah. But do you know 
what the name of this form this yeah this is Kaaba in which mosque this Kaaba yeah Al Masjid Al Haram where Al Masjid Al Haram located yeah in Saudi Arabia where or in which directions UAE located the to Saudi Arabia search in the map of UAE to know where the UAE located to Saudi Arabia our learning objectives are recite sort and not correct reading you should memorize it by heart Explain the overall meaning of the surah and clarify the meaning of vocabulary. And the last conclude that patience is the path to success. This surah, we will watch this video and you should repeat after the sheikh. Now try to repeat after me and explain together the meaning of each verse. After that you should explain the overall meaning of this surah and these verses. Verse number one or ayah one. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Ida jaa nasrullahi wal fatah. Repeat. إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح. Do you know? Explain the meaning of this verse. When Allah's help arrives and His victory. When did Allah or when did this victory happen? We will know later when we talk about the story for revealed this about the when we talk about the reason for revealed this surah, inshallah. So the meaning of this verse when the victor and the help of Allah reach to Muslims. Verse number two. وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا Read the translation for this verse. And you see the people enter Allah's religion in large crowds. And can you explain more this verse? Yeah. وَرَأَيْتَ When you see who Allah talk with? Yeah. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When you see yeah, Prophet Muhammad and Nasa and Nasa mean in English, people. Yadkhuluna. Yadkhuluna in English, enter. Fi deen Allah. Do you know what does it mean, deen Allah? It's the religion of Allah. Which is the religion of Allah? That Allah means in this verse. It is a Judaism or Christian. Or Islam, yeah, Islam. Afwaja, and do you know? Before we explain the meaning of afwaja, all the religions, all the prophets, those who Allah sent them, sent them to call in. Islam 
you can tell me Islam, this our religion is the, the religion of uh, Adam and Ibrahim, Yusuf or the other prophets also was Islam. How? How my teacher? Yeah. The religion of Allah is Islam. All the prophets call to Islam. Do you know what does it mean, Islam? Islam means you should worship and prostrate, obey one God. He is Allah. And, the, and this is the general message of the all prophets from the beginning of the earth, Adam alayhi salam, to the last prophet. Who is the last prophet? Yeah, Prophet Muhammad. The general religion of Allah from Adam to Muhammad alayhi salam, jami'an, was Islam to and the Islam means obey and worship one God, He is Allah. What does it mean, in English? Large crowds or groups. So, the general meaning of this verse when you see yeah, Prophet Muhammad. The people are joining in the Islam in groups. And when you see more people joining Islam, yeah, Prophet Muhammad, you should, you should what? Focus in the order that Allah will say it to our Prophet Muhammad in the next verse, the third verse. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا Read فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهُ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا you can explain the meaning of this verse. Yeah. Let's explain together. We read first the meaning that Abbi seen. Glorify and praise your Lord and ask for his forgiveness. Surely he is the one who continuously forgives. And فسبح means glorify or praise. سبح, you know what does it mean? سبح, when you praise Allah. And سبح means when you تسبيح, when you say Subhanallah, Subhanallah. And تحميد means you know, when you say Alhamdulillah. تهليل means when you say لا إله إلا الله. So سبح means say subhanallah or the general meaning of sabaha means praise or or thank or dua make dua to allah okay pray to allah bihamdi rabbika wastaghfirhu istaghfirhu means ask his forgiveness so Allah's order here after Ya Prophet Muhammad when you when you when the victor and the help of Allah reach to you and Muslims and know that he helped you and Muslim to enter Mecca again after its people made you leave Mecca falsely? Do you know why? Why people of Quraysh make, uh, made Muslims go, uh, went away from Mecca and leave their homeland, uh, homeland? Because they 
didn't want to spread Islam. They need to stay worship idols. So they were afraid about their those idols and also about their status. They thought this. They thought if, if they joining Islam, this is will decrease their position among people. This is and this a wrong thought, yeah. Islam not decrease from the position of anyone. He just only need to take you from worship these idols that you made it by your hands to worship the really God, Allah, glory be to him. So, yeah, Prophet Muhammad, when, uh, when, you, when you see and when you be sure that Allah help you to enter Mecca and return to Mecca again, and when you see more people are joining Islam, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهُ Thank all, pray and thank Allah and ask His forgiveness. إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا He is the one who continuously forgives means Allah, He is the only forgive our sins. And what we could learn from this surah each group, I need each group to, to Tell me one thing that we could learn or the value that we could learn from this surah. You have three verses for this surah. From each verse, we can extract one value or when we, we can find out a lesson that we should learn from this surah. From this surah, what we could learn, we learn that Allah, yeah, He help Muslims. He always help Muslims in their life. So we should always worship and obey Allah in order to help us. Yeah, because in our life, if you obey your parents or you obey your teachers like or like this and respect them, they will help you, yeah. And if you not if you don't, they will not help you, yeah. Also, this with the relation with Allah. If you obey and worship and respect Allah, Allah will help you. From the second verse, what le the lesson? We could learn from this verse, the second verse. وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا Yeah. We learn that Islam is a true religion or the general religion that Allah sent prophets to call people to. The third verse, what we could learn, yeah, we should pray, thank Allah, and ask His forgiveness to forgive our sins, and also we should forgive to others. This is the value that we could learn to learn forgiveness we should as muslim i should forgive others because in this surah or in the story of this surah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam forgive to the disbelievers when he when we beat them he forgave them and he didn't punish them 
also they hurted him and and Muslims before and made him leave their homeland and go to another city to live in Medina lived Mecca and went to Medina to live in it you look to the good moral of Prophet Muhammad the tolerance of Prophet Muhammad he forgave to those to those people people of Quraysh and he told him go you are free and then punished him so I should pray to Allah ask his forgiveness to forgive my sins and forgive others even they treated me bad and also a lesson here I should how I should say if I need to Allah to forgive my sins how what I what uh, what I uh, uh, what I could say what I need to say yeah I need to say astaghfirullah or astaghfirullah al azim or Allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha illa ant khalaqtani wa ana abduk wa ana ala ahdika wa wa'dika ma istata'at a'udhu bika min sharri ma sana'at abu'u laka bi na'matika alay wa abu'u bi dhanbi faghfir li fa innahu la yaghfiru adh-dhunuba illa ant this also a word is we could say it when we need Allah forgive our sins but you can you can only say astaghfirullah if the if you can't memorize this uh, dua uh, of forgiveness you can uh, only uh, you can enough by say astaghfirullah or astaghfirullah al azim and Allah inshallah will forgive to you because Allah Say, in Allah, can a gafur or Rahim. Allah love us, and He need us to worship, obey Him, and be close from uh, to Him to help us and to make us happy in our life, and also be happy, inshallah, on the day of judgment by enter Jannah. Here some activities for the and the different different activities according to the your groups. Group C, and you can check your answer from this next slides. Another acti the same this activity about the general meaning of the surah of the verses. Sorry, the general meaning of the verses. Okay, this for group E, and here bear assessment. It's your group assess to the other group and after that we this the general meaning of the verses the second the learning objectives clarify the meaning of vocabulary and we have here for vocabulary al fath and means means the conquest of mecca Opening of Mecca, the victory of opening Mecca. Afwaja means groups. Fasabbih bihamd rabbika, celebrate the praises of your Lord. Wastaghfirhu means ask for his forgiveness. And here, link for YouTube video. We will watch this video to know more about the meaning of this vocabulary. After that, we have a different activity about the meaning of these vocabulary, and we and I made it only for three vocabulary to be easy to you. This for group A, complete, and this for group B, match, and this for group C, put the correct meaning of this vocabulary in front of these word is here self-assessment through this game we learned before group before in the first activity was bear assessment and here another strategy self-assess you should assess yourself during play this game and there's also strategy of 
educational games. Here we reach to the story of opening Mecca. And I have here a challenge question. Do you know when when did this victory of opening Mecca or this battle of opening Mecca happened? Yeah, it happened in the the eighth Hijri Hijri, the year number eight of Hijra, and in the twenty of Ramadan. I have here another creative question. How many battles did Muhammad وسلم, and Muslim did in their life or the Islamic history? Yeah, do you know? Think you can search on internet and tell me in our class and I will add it to Marcus for who tell me next class the answer for this question. Here the story about opening Mecca. This before people of Quraysh used to hurt Muslims, but after that. It was more battles between the believers, the Muslims, and the disbelievers. And in this, this, the battle of Obni Mecca. No, this is not the battles of Obni Mecca. It was this more battles happened, happened before, before this battle opening Mecca. It was more battles. Okay. Allah help, help Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and Muslim and Prophet Muhammad وسلم, after he entered the Mecca he collected the disbelievers the whole disbelievers and he asked them what do you think I will do with you some of them thought that Prophet Muhammad will order to kill them because those disbelievers hurted Muslims before and killed more of Muslims when they were in Mecca and also when we traveled and migrated to Medina. As I told you, it was more battles before this battle opening Mecca. So it was more battles and fight between Muslims and disbelievers so each group killed from the other group so disbelievers killed some Muslims in Mecca and also after Muslims lived in Mecca and, uh, and lived in uh, Medina so some of them think this but do you know what they told the Prophet Muhammad what the what was the response to Prophet Muhammad when he asked them, what do you think I will do with you? They told him, Akhun Karim wabnu Akhun Karim, you are our brother and the son of our brother Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib because Ab the grandfather of Prophet Muhammad Abdul Muttalib bin Hashim he was a leader from Quraysh's leaders so he told them we think that you will do good toward us do you know what was the response of Prophet Muhammad to those disbelievers? 
he he ordered to kill them or he ordered Muslims to kill them. No, he forgave to those disbelievers and he told them, go and live in Mecca. And maybe he didn't order Muslims to kill them and he didn't make them leave Mecca as they met with him before. No, he and he told them, go and live in Mecca and you will be saved. Look, he didn't punish them. He didn't kill them. He didn't, he didn't make them leave Mecca. But he told them, Go and live in Mecca in save. You will be saved and I will protect you. Look to this tolerance and this good morals and this a wonderful example for our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I should learn from this situation and from this story what what i could learn yeah i should follow our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his good morals i should be say the truth i should be honest i sh i should forgive others and i should be kind with others to be like our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to be with him in Jannah, inshallah. So as Muslim, we should follow our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the whole field of our life, especially in worship Allah and behave others with good morals. This strategy of uh, brainstorm compare between the situation of Mecca before and after before Islam and after Islam and now and here activity about the story of opening Mecca. this try to read this question and answer them and you can check your answer from here here the reading time or strategy of solve problem this read this dialogue between a mother and her daughter and answer the following question here individual activity read an answer and you can check your answer from here and this organized for our lesson about Surat An-Nas talk about the victory of Ibn Mecca and we should thank and pray to Allah and ask for his forgiveness here link to his life I should thank Allah glory to him for his favor and I love my country. I should pray to Allah, glory be to Him, to support my country and protect it from enemies. Here are other individual activities. This one. And you can check your answer from here. And this color activity. And here another activity. Color the box on the edge of the following cultures. Uh, and here another activity draw a line match you can check your answer from here progress check what you can do and what you need more to practice or you don't understand any 
of our learning objectives, you can ask me to explain more. Here the plenary, what the value we could learn from our lesson and play the quizzes website. I will send this the link of this quizzes in its time. Here more imagination question and the creative question and the challenge question. And here link is with Arabic and with social studies, with math and history, and with life. How could you express your love to our Muhammad وسلم, and how could you follow him in his good morals during your life? And this is Arabic word of Al-Nasr or Mecca, like this, with social, and we ask it this, with the links with social and uh, Geography and also we, I asked this in during our explanation for this lesson. Here, the homework you should recite by heart or memorize this surah by heart. When you finish, record the video and upload it in your class wall. And here, another game. Play this game. And in the end of our lesson, we should say this dua. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you understand our lesson. See you next week in a new lesson, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.